Hey guys, so today I am bringing the ducklings to the nursing home and I'm bringing Alfred the gosling as well. So I'm gonna put the ducklings and the gosling inside of this um, tub right here and put little shavings down. And then the um, person who's in charge of the nursing home that let me actually come today um, actually got a pond so all the residents can watch the ducklings and goslings splash around and so it should be fun. So it's actually supposed to rain out today so I guess we're having the the birds inside, so I, I'm not sure how this is going to work out today, but there's going to be a little um, pond inside for them to splash around. Maybe I'll put some towels down to avoid getting uh, the hardwood or carpets too wet. But uh, now it's time to catch the ducklings and gosling. Always the hardest part. And they're already getting their feathers too, which is so sad. I'm growing up so quick. Come here. Last one's always the hardest. Who sent that? Huh? Who sent that? Nora. Lauren. Lauren. Wow, I've never been this way. Really? Just Okay, cheese. We just got back here and I checked under one of my broody hens, or I should say two broody hens because they're just sharing a nest and I have babies. The other one hopped off the nest, but uh, we have this broody mama. I found her. <laughs> and so these are a couple of um, One's a wheat and marin. And I think the rest are first generation olive eggers. But uh, she's being a good mama. I think there's four. One, two. Yeah, four. And now there's two. Are you babies? And that's what happens when you leave the door open. More babies. Up, up. Up, up. Come on. Up. These have to be the loudest birds that don't like being picked up. I just wanted to show you how cool these colors are. These are just your standard pearl gray guinea keats. Oh. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. Um, unfortunately, tomorrow I have to put Charlie down in the morning um, because she's extremely sick. Uh, she lost an incredible amount of weight over the course of the weekend alone, even though she's eating a ton, which is weird. 
I treated for parasites, I treated for so many things. My last attempt would have been CBD oil, um, but unfortunately I, I just can't have her in this state anymore. She's suffering at this point. Um, and I really should have put her down today, but I was being selfish and I wanted to spend the day with her. Um, so, after I put her down tomorrow, I send her off to Yukon Diagnostic Lab and they can tell me what's finally wrong with her because I think Echo is displaying the same symptoms, the same beginning symptoms, uh, the stumbling every so often, which turns into not walking. So I, I'm really curious to know what Charlie actually had so that I can prevent it from Echo in the future. Uh, a lot of people have told me it may be genetic because Blue is not displaying symptoms at all. So I guess um, I'll find out this week what really caused her to be sick. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. We're better off tomorrow, but who knows, who knows if we get joy or sorrow. Stay true to the fire in your heart and your soul. Don't trench your desiring what you can't control. We fly, we fly, try so hard to get there, and we might, we might be lost, but not forever. There's things in life you simply need to know. But so 